going to basically tell my story and then I'll leave some time afterwards to answer questions. Um, in 2007, Randy was a sheriff's deputy and I was a customer service rep at a box plant. Um, I had learned everything about my job and I was, in my own opinion and in the plant manager's opinion, pretty amazing at it. But there was no place for me to go in the, in the hierarchy of the company. Um, I would have to wait years to go anywhere. And it didn't matter how good I was or how much training I did or how much extra work I did, there was no place for me because I was not producing the boxes and I didn't have a business degree. And so I decided, you know, this is, I can't do this again. And um, Randy and I both felt called to come and to be involved with the military. And so he became a army officer. The, um, we thought we were gonna go somewhere near us. We were in South Carolina, but the army decided to put us as the army needed and we ended up out here. Um, we ended up coming out and I started watching what was out here, trying to figure out what was my next move, what were we going to do next. And I saw around the army community a very strong um, market for real estate. And I started sort of asking questions, figuring out what goes on with real estate, how do you invest in real estate, is this really as strong of a market as I think it is, and I was learning a resounding yes. This, um, we came out in 2008 when the market was crashing, didn't crash here. Um, it was still strong here. And I was, I was coming from having to sell my house in South Carolina and do a ton of work in order to get it sold. Um, which is a completely different story, to here where the market was still sound. And I was like, what's the difference? And um, so that's one of the main reasons um, I decided to start real estate here is because um, Lawton has historically had a very sound market. It doesn't do a lot of the peaks and valleys. Um, it has a lot of, it's very conservative. And so I, um, that, it brought us here. Um, Personally, this was, it was a lot of difficult times during that time, so I didn't start out at the top of the world saying, hey, I'm gonna take this on and, and everything's gonna be great. I actually lost my dad, I had a miscarriage, Randy was deployed, I lost my grandpa, my friend was diagnosed with cancer, and then I lost my grandma. And um, all of that while I was trying to start my business. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Randy gave me four months to start the business and be successful. Usually it takes a year for a realtor to sell a house, and so I went into overdrive. I was like, this has to work. And um, I, the fourth month, I got six contracts. I had no contracts before that. Six contracts, one rookie of the year for Remax Oklahoma. And um, my business was a reality. Um, in 2012, I tripled my, so that was 2010. 2012, I tripled my, um, my sales and one executive club by having, I think it was like $60,000 in commission. I forget how many millions that was that I had sold. And then last year, I made the 100% club by selling $3.9 million for the passes. So a lot of people want to go to this big box company saying, that, well, this person has a great business and everything. Maybe so. Maybe they've been in it longer. But I would always bet on me. I think that I'm going to get your house sold. I think that I'm going to find you the right house because I know my customer service background and my teaching background makes it so that I'm a listener and I'm going to try to find the thing that's right for you. So um, yeah, there's other big names out there. They have systems, but they don't have me. So I would like people to work with me. Um, then right now, Randy's back. We're trying to make things like even more established. I've already done the 100% club, so now I would like to hold 50 listings to maintain the motivation to keep get start getting market control. And I know that's a huge deal to ask for, but I think I can handle it, and that's my next step. And so that's where I am right now. Any questions? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we had one that was, um, so there's another realtor in my, I will say this one.